Hi, this is Brendan Watson from Watto Training and in this tutorial we're going to look at the system of vehicle control. What is the system of vehicle control? The system of vehicle control is the sequence by which a driver approaches a hazard when driving. A hazard is anything dangerous or potentially dangerous that a driver may encounter. For example, a roundabout, speed bump, overtaking maneuver, intersection, crash scene, sharp bend, etc. In short, anything which would or could interrupt a driver's progress. Advantages of the system of vehicle control. The advantages of the system of vehicle control to a driver ensures the driver will be for any given traffic situation in the correct position on the road, traveling at the correct speed and the correct gear. The standard formula for the system of vehicle control is as follows. Give the direction, check mirrors, signal, if required, adjust speed and position, gear changing and mirror checks, take evasive action, for example give way, and then accelerate out of the situation. So let's see, <coughs> excuse me, how that works in some examples. Example one, reduce speed sign on left hand bend. The instructor, follow the road please. You can see on the left side of the picture there's a reduced speed sign and a warning sign denoting slippery when wet. The driver should check their mirrors, slow down and position your vehicle to maximize control and vision, gear down and again check your mirrors, take the corner smoothly and accelerate once out of the corner and the wheels are straight. Example two, left lane ends merge to right lane. The instructor would advise the driver to make a lane change to the right lane, check your mirrors, signal right, adjust speed and shoulder check to the right, change gears if required, pop a mirror check and move over in a smooth and safe manner into the right lane. You can see in the example there there's plenty of time to get over. Further there's a warning sign saying left lane ends. There's also a bike lane and there's a left lane coming from the side as well. So there's plenty of observation and scanning required for that example. <coughs> Excuse me. Example three. Turn left at crossroad with stop sign. I've just put a box around the stop sign so it jumps out in the picture and I've drawn an arrow to the left just to show the direction of travel. Left turn please. Check your mirrors, signal to the left, slow down, shoulder check to the left for any bicycles, position the vehicle towards the left of the lane, gear down, check mirrors, stop completely with the nose of the vehicle behind the stop line, scan, give way if necessary to all vehicles um, in our path, accelerate away when safe. Example four, left turn at intersection. First left please, check your mirrors, signal left, slow down, left shoulder check, move to the left of lane, gear down, scan the pedestrian crossing, scan to the right and also behind, and take evasive action if necessary, and move off when clear. Example five, left turn at traffic lights. I've just put a red arrow in there to show you that there are a set of traffic lights up ahead and there's a left turn. You can see in the distance a little car coming out from the side street there. We can also see in this example there's a green bicycle lane painted. Um, first left please, check your mirrors, signal left, slow down, left shoulder check, all clear, move to the left lane when it's safe to do so, gear down, check your mirrors, take evasive action if necessary, turn left when it's safe to do so. Example six, right turn at T section with stop sign. Right turn at the T section please, check your mirrors, signal right, slow down, position to the right of the lane, gear down, check your mirrors, stop and look, give way, 
turn right when safe to do so. Example 7, straight ahead at railway crossing. Straight ahead please. Check your mirrors, slow down, gear down, check your mirrors again, scan both ways to make sure it's all clear, proceed when safe to do so. Example 8, right turn at unmarked T section. Right turn please. Check your mirrors, signal right, slow down, move to the left of the centre of the road, gear down, check mirrors, give way, scan both ways, move away when clear to do so. Example 9, we've got a staggered intersection. Go straight at the staggered intersection please. Check your mirrors, no signal, treat it like an offset crossroad. Slow down and position to the right of the lane which is another way you could say that is just left of the traffic island. Gear down and check your mirrors. Scan both ways and ahead. Give way if necessary. Move through when safe to do so. So we can see there's a, a give way sign at, the situ at that situation. Example 10, straight ahead at crossroad with stop sign. You can see in this diagram that the road on the other side of the crossroad also has a stop sign with a stop line and two double lines just like we do in the situation we're facing. Straight ahead at the crossroad please. Check your mirrors, slow down and position the vehicle. I'd say we'd be a little bit to the right of the lane here. That would allow any say motorbikes coming up from behind wanting to take a left turn could, could slip up there um, safely. Gear down, check mirrors, stop and look, give way, move off when safe to do so. Example 11, straight ahead at traffic lights. And I've just drawn a little arrow there to point out that there's a red light in case that's difficult to see. Straight ahead at the traffic lights, please. Check your mirrors, slow down, and position the vehicle in the middle lane. It's very important that drivers look at the painted arrows on the road to make sure that they're in a lane that can do the um, go in the direction that they want to go. Gear down and check your mirrors. Stop at the red light and look. Keep monitoring the intersection. Move off when the traffic light turns green and the intersection is clear. Example 12, U-turn at roundabout. This only has a single lane, this roundabout, and it's quite tight. You turn at the roundabout, please. Check your mirrors, signal right, slow down and position the vehicle. Gear down and mirror check. Give way to vehicles on roundabout. Move off when safe. Signal left when departing, which would be the fourth exit. Thank you for watching this video. Keep watching for more videos on the Watto Training YouTube channel. And for information about courses and pathways for becoming a, an instructor, please go to www.wadotraining.com.au.